And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Shen to start our very first deck after patch 2.5. Super excited about this patch. Aphelios really got hit with the moon weapons now costing three mana. I'm very excited about that. And just some other stuff that's fun to play has been buffed up. Um, you know, some, some uh, burble fish got hurt, hit a little bit. This looks like a very, very fun patch, and uh, it's going to increase the diversity and enjoyment of the game. We have a donation deck to play Jarvan Shen again, and that's perfect because Jarvan was one of those cards that I talked about that did get buffed up. If you remember, Jarvan used to be a 5-3 way back in the day. Now Jarvan is going to be a 6-4. It got that plus one, plus one, so that's pretty nice. We're going to try out our Jarvan Shen deck again with that. Um... And then uh, we're going to try out some Deep Sea Monsters. That's going to be our deck after this, as we as uh, Deep got some buffs. And then we're going to try out the new Shivana deck, or new Shivana with a Shivana Dragon deck. And also we'll try out new Lulu with Lulu Elusives. So, um, yeah, so this should be a lot of fun. So here we go. Let's start with our first one here. Shen Jarvan. Or Jarvan Shen. We got the new Earth board. Earth looks cool to manatee. Thank you, YouTube comments, telling me about Earth. Now, so now I know it is uh, it is a manatee. All right, some aggro with Misfortune, Gangplank. Let's talk about this uh, before recording that I am expecting a lot of aggro today whenever you have a brand new format. This is just something for y'all. Uh, whenever you have your new formats, expect a lot of people playing aggressive decks right away and so that's something like i really want to make sure to have spirits refuge for example in our deck list um and these are like single combat's an important spell spirits refuge is an important spell but we need to have some early units i hope okay let's see how we find that because usually when people are just experimenting with stuff and, and everything with uh your your sharks, your your people that are trying to win a lot right away, they're going to be playing aggressive decks to punish people that have um, un untuned lists. I'm definitely playing the Bright Steel Protector here, not the River Shaper. I know like River Shaper and Shen is kind of better, but I want to have the two mana for the single combat available as well. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. Uh, I don't know. This is uh, very first time playing this board. I, is the music really loud in this board? If so, I can change down the volume for the music. There we go. Hopefully that's better. No prey. No prey. Okay, and we got a, a two mana removal spell for misfortune. That's very important. I'll be damned. Okay, was it not too loud? Remember. So should I turn it back up a little bit? I think I is this where I'm doing lifesteal barrier? Because so, I can either go river shaper for another blocker plus nobify. I guess it's probably just better to go river shaper for another blocker. We swing within the flows of magic. And then nobify for noxion fervor. Alright, so three, two, block. Shield up! Currents, pull them down. This is us going to eight. Yep. All right, good Nopify. That was weird they're gonna Nopify the thing that River Shaper was blocking. You'd think they would Nopify. Oh, I guess because they didn't want me to draw the card. I guess that makes sense, never mind. again. 
balance and imbalance. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. Ours is but to do and die. Uh. I'm one mana short from Deny plus Spirit's Refuge. I want both of those. But I'm very glad I have Deny, though. Right, so like if their plan is just another Decimate. Right, because that's, that's kind of how they're going to kill me from now, is just um, direct damage spells. Alright, so they could still have Fervor. I guess I could just kind of wait on that. Let's see, so next turn, if I don't really play anything, next turn it's 8 plus 3 is 11, so that would be like Spirit's Refuge plus Concerted Strike. No, I'll just have Spirit's Refuge plus Deny. Prepare yourself. We move soon. I suppose. To the flag! My father's blade. They are under my protection. It must be done. This is gonna be big. All right, I don't really need deny. I can just do this. Because, like, fervor is the only... Like, they only play fervor for, like, spells. So, like, one fervor doesn't kill me. Like, fervor and decimate are their only spells, so... There we go. Everything as it should be. Jarvan getting a kill. Okay. All right, Lucian is here. See? Back to aggro. Back to aggro. Gonna be a lot of aggro today. That card's gone. River Shaper is gonna be necessary, but also small. Um, but I need like a three drop. See, I like like Protege for this matchup. Whenever, yeah, so why is there so much aggro? Um, whenever there's a, a brand new format and people are experimenting, other people want to just play aggressive decks that um, punish other... Like, they want to play aggressive decks that punish people for uh, not having finely tuned lists and for, you know, playing nonsense. So yes, right now, right now I think there there'll be a lot of aggro. So if you want to play your Shadow Isles for all your decks, this is a good time. You know, like your Anivia style decks, your Brahm Anivia, this is a good time. Break their spirits and their swords. This is something for every balance patch. There should be a good amount of deep today as well. Okay, I like that draw. Yeah, there's a lot of very good aggro right now in the metagame, so it's, that's another reason why it's not too surprising to see it, because there's a lot of good aggro. Never fell. It only awaited my return. The fate of mortals and spirit. This is mercy. Immediately. So that's gotta be sharp sight, right? Yep. Stand down. You're covered. Duty, selflessness. Heavy. Can't burden. really kill. Azir right now. I mean, I guess I kind of can. Protect and strike. I'll stop you. Yeah, yeah. 
Hopefully this works. Hopefully no shape stone. All right, cool. Yeah, but still shape stone will give the plus one plus one. No, I didn't want that. Nopeify. They could definitely have like the the three mana challenge card. River shape the land and give it life. <laughs> There's a chill in the air. Water changes but never breaks. I wouldn't be that surprised if they had that. And so maybe like if they had like that fight spell. I just didn't think it was worth keeping up, like spending, you know, like keeping up deny. I've got your back. Okay, so it looks like they will not have that. So if I take six, I go down to six. And I think that's perfectly reasonable. Burn away the shadows. Oh, okay. Well, Currents, pull them down. Go down to three. That's not as reasonable. That's yeah, all reasonable. What form will the waters take? River shape the land and give it life. Yeah, I don't really have burn. And so now I am planning on keeping deny available. I'm not really planning on casting golden ages. I demand satisfaction. Oh. Go so Shen's gonna die. I would assume. Yeah, I guess you can show me what you're made of. Push back the darkness. Sure hope that's not a pump spell. All right, cool. They see that we got all these spells thanks to River Shaper, and they done. 2 0. Oh, the deck I can never beat. Vladimir Brom. But we do have barriers. Barrier should be good, but they have the like the one damage things in combat that stop barrier. Oh, this is going to be tough. All right. Do I want to keep this Rally plus Barrier card? It does seem pretty cool. And Screeching Dragon definitely seems good. Like, you know, like this seems like a good hand. I don't have anything on tier, turn two or turn three just to save spell mana right now. But um, we also have our draw steps. It seems like a reasonable hand. Because we're going to need to be big, right? Like, their, their stuff's pretty big. So I need, like, my bigger stuff. So, like... Shen, Screeching Dragon, these are bigger things. We're gonna need bigger things. All right, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna be like, wait, no, I'm not gonna attack, because I'm gonna play this Bright Steel Protector. And see, now they're scared, now they don't play anything. All right, so we scare them off from playing something. Um, I guess Protégé. All right, so I go. Oh no, we already have the Fleet Feather Tracker. We don't need Protege. All right, River Shaper. What? Avalanche? It's like cheating. They're playing Avalanche? I can't beat that card. <laughs> Their deck looks incredible. Man, that was a really nice Avalanche. Because, see, yeah, I was, ho I was hoping they would just play, like, whatever lame unit, and then 
we have our our uh, Burr challenge the unit and then get our other two attacking in for free. Wasn't this supposed to be a bug? Like, why? How is? How do they not fix this bug? This is fun, yes. Right? Well, they fixed all those other bugs. How did they not fix that? What form will the waters take? It is easy. See? I sense an imbalance. Yeah, Death Lotus is good, for sure. The other hand was awesome. Exactly what you want. Yeah, they had the, the Blood Letter Braum combo, now Blood Letter Vladimir. And then the AoE spells that have been awesome. So they had Scar Grounds, both champions, two Blood Letters, two AoE spells. Like that's, if you could ask for exactly what you want, that's exactly what you want. Spirit's Refuge doesn't save Shen. If I use the Spirit's Refuge, it will block this one damage, yes. But this Braum is going to be 4 power now because of both of these, so Braum will still kill Shen. I'm honestly really surprised that this Bloodletter bug wasn't fixed. I'm I'm very surprised by that because this is a this is a very popular deck, right? Like, it's not like this is this. There's no way that's not on their radar. How is that not fixed? I don't understand. I honestly just don't understand. We swim within the flows of magic. All right, well we can't really get through these things that are that large and tough. So that'll do. GG, right? GG. Okay, so we have Elise and Draven. Playing some more aggro. So three aggro decks. So you're going to be too slow against aggro. Same with you. The Deny can definitely come in very handy later on, though, because they are like the Noxian, ver uh, Noxian version that should have the burn spells to try to finish me out, but I... I just don't, I don't want to keep it in my opening hand, but it's a card that I would like to draw later on. But, uh, as we saw with like the second deck that was Noxus, you know, them, or I guess it was the first deck, them having like Decimates and Fervors and things like that to finish the game is going to be important. Just saves me three life by playing that right now. I don't think I'm going to play the River Shaper. I think I'm going to just pass. So the, the, what I was thinking here is like, if I play River Shaper, if they play either of their champions, especially Draven, I guess Draven I can attack through, but you know, if they play a champion, I don't get to attack with the River Shaper. 
I'd rather just get the attack in first. And I'm going to save save the spell mana for uh, Shen plus spell. See, th this is a good time to draw Deny. We'll have it now. That's fine. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Shen's so big. Keyword big. No closer. River shape the land and give it life. Enforced equilibrium. Thinking sharp sight, single combat, and just kill the two five. But then I, I don't draw a spell. Maybe I just go sharp sight, single combat this way. That will, if they use, they use the spinning axe that kill my river shaper though. But you know we're killing a draven. Okay, well I guess they don't, they didn't. Maybe they didn't see that. They could have just discarded something and killed my River Shaper, but all right, we we were going to be drawing two cards though, right? Like they lost a Draven and a Vile Feast and got a Spider, and I used two cards to draw two cards. Ooh, Twisted Fate Kindred. This is the anti aggro deck. So this is the other thing. You know, if there are going to be a good amount of aggro decks, you're also going to have your anti aggro decks. So this is probably going to be a go hard deck. That would be my guess. I like this hand. I think this is a good deny matchup, I think. Because what are we denying? We're denying um, Withering Whale, Vengeance, Go Hard. Be nothing left when I'm done. I don't love Bird against Go Hard, and it looks like that's what they're thinking about. Yeah, like that's that's gotta be what they're thinking about, right? Like use Go Hard or not? This'll send them running. All right, so they're gonna save it for River Shaper instead, but of course we have we do have the Sharp Sight. Water changes but never breaks. Yeah, first card in the hand. pack our bags this game. Looking like we're packing our bags this game. Love that draw. Shen is big. I walk the space between worlds. Big size wise. I hope they're holding vengeance for next turn that we get to deny. I'm glad not Twisted Fate Gold Card, but that's the th that is the third factor bags already. Gosh, if, I don't even think that was. I don't even think that was the card that Sprayfin drew. So if Sprayfin drew another one, that'd be really bad for me. Okay, good. Maybe that was the card that Sprayfin drew. I don't know. Obviously, if they pass, I pass, right? Like, I'm not going to play River Shaper. Wow. 
Yeah. I've said so many of these. All right, so I guess I... It may be better just to let this happen to transform the other ones back into Gohards they, so they don't just have more pack your bags. And then I can just, you know, go like Barrier Sharp Sight and keep both of these alive. Unless they have more Vile Feasts. Which one's better to keep alive? They didn't just draw this, right? So they could have, they had the five mana last turn, they could have cast it? I don't know, man. My father's this is weird. Please let it happen. Don't have a vile feast. All right, good. I went this way because if they had the vile feast, I'd rather them kill the dragon than kill the Shen, I guess. But I'm not sure about that. Right, because like the barrier was the less safe way. So like that's that's what what I had to choose. Which one? Which one to go with? This was a crazy uh, go hard game. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I guess I gotta use the single combat now. Ugh. Okay. It wasn't like a removal spell on my thing, so okay, never mind. So yeah, we can use that. That's the problem is I couldn't I couldn't hold up deny because like Jarvan would have to come into play. So like Jarvan was gonna attack and like so I wouldn't be able to deny if they had vengeance. That was a crazy game though. That showed like how good our Um yeah, so that's I was gonna I was gonna end up not because because Jarvan had to come into play, I was gonna end up not challenging with the 7-7, seven, seven, and I, so I was gonna challenge with the four five and let Jarvan challenge the other. Yeah, that's what I was gonna reset and do. That was a pretty crazy game though, because of how how crazy their hand was with the go hards, but you know, us still winning that like that game really made our deck look good, right? Like like yeah, this is a really good deck and <laughs> that game showed off our how good our deck is. But I think just all those games in general showed how good Shen is. Shen is awesome. Like it's just so big. That three five body is huge. We played against a lot of um aggressive decks with like smaller units, and the three five body was just dominating. It was uh, really good in particular with like sharp sight, right? Like if they tried to like Lucian attack and we blocked and they sharp sighted, we had our own sharp sight. You know, like once you sharp sight a Shen, then it's a 5-7 and you just can't, you know, you can't kill a 5-7. And so that was frequently on like turn two or turn three, we were saving spell mana. I guess basically always on turn two, unless we were playing Bright Steel Protector. But, you know, we we're saving spell mana so that we could have Shen plus, you know, like our sharp sights and single combats and things like that. Um, and then having like the denies and notify were very good for the late game. The notify in particular um, did some really good work for us. I'm glad we played it. From the list that I had previously played, I'd played three golden ages and I took out a golden ages for a notify, thinking that we we're going to be facing some more aggressive decks with burn spells and things like that. And the notify was clutch, countering a um, a valor and a uh, noxion fervor. So we had it twice and it, it countered something that was very important both times. Screeching Dragon did its thing of just being amazing, and this deck was really good. So there we go, Jarvan Shen, 4 and 1, only losing to uh, the Vladimir Braum deck that is impossible to beat, <laughs> that had a perfect hand. Uh, but besides that, it looked good, and so yeah, Jarvan, Jarvan's doing its thing. All right, so if you want to try out new Jarvan, give this list a try. This one should be pretty good against aggro, as you saw us be able to defeat different aggro decks. Um, that's, 
you know, wanted to have the Nopify for the Ag Aggro, wanted to make sure to keep the, the Spirits Refuges in here for, Ag for Aggro, and um, yeah, those worked out really well. All right, so those of, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always like those. What kind of decks are you playing with the new patch? What do you want to see on the stream? All that kind of stuff. I love seeing those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Jarvan Shen, and I'll see you for the next video.